Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about Marxist criticism. Founders of Marxist criticism: Karl Marx, a German philosopher, and Friedrich Engels, a German sociologist, were the joint founders of Marxist criticism. Both Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels were born in Germany. Marx's father was a lawyer. He lived in Britain after being exiled from Germany. While Engels left Germany in 1842, he went to Manchester to work in his father's textile firm. They wrote Communist Manifesto of 1848, which marked the beginning of communism. Karl Marx planned to meet Engels after reading his article in a journal to which actually both of them have contributed their article we have to note that they named their economic theories as communism and not marxism they believed in the state ownership of industry transport etc instead of private ownership the aim of marxism is to bring about a classless society based on the common ownership for production distribution and exchange marxism tells about the struggle for power between different social classes there is always a competition for economic social and political advantage the exploitation of one social class by another is seen especially in modern industrial capitalism particularly during the 19th century and now the struggle for power leads to exploitation of one social class by another the outcome of this exploitation is alienation the workers are alienated when they are de-skilled they are made to perform fragmented and repetitive tasks the alienated workers have undergone the process of reification which is a term used in marx's major work das kapital it relates how importance is given to capitalist goals their profit and loss and the workers are treated only as hands or labor force for instance the effect of industrial closure is calculated in purely economic terms people just become things in marx's model of society there are two important things call base and superstructure base is the material means of production distribution and exchange superstructure is a cultural world of ideas art religion law and so on it is formed by the nature of the economic base marx's literary criticism insists that a writer's social class has a major impact on what is written by a member of that class marxist critics find that the writer is constantly formed by the social contexts leninist marxist criticism lenin had argued in 1905 that literature must become an instrument of the party vulgar marxism of the 1930s tells about the relationship between literature and economics all writers were trapped within the intellectual limits of their social class position engelsian marxist criticism began from 1930s onwards the most important members of the group were viktor sklovsky boris tomashevsky and boris Akinbum they later belonged to the russian formalists their idea is that they insisted the need for close formal analysis of literature language of literature has its own characteristic procedures and effects and therefore it is not an ordinary language viktor sklovsky about defamiliarization defamiliarization or making strange 
is an idea proposed in the work called art as technique sklovsky says that the chief effects of literary language is that of making the familiar word appear new to us as if we were saying it for the very first time and thus laying it open for reappraisal boris tomashevsky makes a distinction between story fibula and the plot zuzhet fibula is the actual sequence of events as they would have occurred zuzhet is the artistic representation of these events which might involve reorderings just oppositions repetitions and so on in order to heighten the effect in a work of literature during early 1950s and 1960s the formalists differentiated language and reality they viewed literature as a set of systematic procedures and structures this notion influenced the structuralists here is a reference for further study as always thanks for listening and thanks for your time thank you